Gingrich Library Online provides many different search tools to help you find just the right articles for your online course that you're developing. The easiest way to search their resources is through the Discovery Search tool. This takes you to an advanced search page that provides many different options. You have a default of three different search fields that you can type terms, such as an author's name, a title of an article, or a subject or keyword. But you can add or subtract those fields as needed. Below you have some different search options that you can use to filter your results and really hone in to what you're looking for. The search mode and expander is going to be if you want the search to search for a phrase or a collection of words, you can use the Boolean phrase. If you want to find all the words that you've typed, or if you want just any one of those words that you've typed. The smart text searching, there's a little hint that gives you more information about this, but you can enter a paragraph of a text or a sentence or even a whole page and it searches the EBSCOhost database for that article. You can limit your results to full text and we highly recommend this because these are going to be full text articles that are available through Gangwish Library Online that you can provide a link to in the course in Blackboard. You can search for a specific author or title. You can limit your results to peer-reviewed journals or if you have a specific journal name that you want to search for. You can also limit your results by the publication dates. We do recommend that you do this. We want to try and keep articles as current as possible within the last five years if that's relevant. So you can search like you would in Google and just type your keyword in and click search and it's going to provide you with quite a few results most likely. So if I type in counseling comes up with a million results here. I can limit those results by choosing where I want it to search for counseling. If I want it to be in the whole text, if that's an author's name, a title, a subject term in the article, a journal title, or in the abstract, I can limit that. And I can add additional search terms to really narrow down my results. And is going to search for counseling and what I type in here, or is going to search for either one of those terms, but it may not contain both. And not is if I want if there's a term that I do not want in the article. I'm going to leave it on and, and let's say I want to search for ethics articles. So this is going to come up with all the results that include counseling and ethics. But I still have quite a few results. So you'll notice that on the left hand side I have some different ways I can limit my results. I can change it to scholarly journals and here I didn't limit my date so I can do that here with the slider just click and drag or I can highlight the date and type in a specific date. Please note that Although we want to try and limit to five years old, if there are historical articles that are relevant and needed for a historical overview of a subject, or if it's a research article that is still current and correct, you definitely can use older articles. If you click on the name of an article, it's going to take you to an overview page that gives you the abstract and just a little bit of information about it. And it also provides links to the full text versions available. You'll notice that articles are available in different types. Most of these are PDF. This full text finder, this means Gangwish Library Online does not subscribe to this article and it's going to take you to a search page where you can search Google Scholar or other available databases online. Some articles have multiple formats available. The HTML full text version is going to have the text of that article all on one page that you can scroll through. It also provides students with the option to listen to the article so it will read it to them and it also if it's a longer article will provide a clickable ta table of contents that they can use to navigate that article quickly.
the PDF version is going to be the PDF version that looks like the publication originally did. And students can download, save, print this file and use it for their studies as needed. When you've selected an article that you would like to use, you want to get the permalink and that can be found with the little chain link icon on the right hand side of the screen. The permalink is going to appear above the article and this link is going to link to the article in Gangwish Library Online. And this link should not change unless Gangwish Library Online stops supporting this article. So you want to copy that URL and in your design template you're going to paste the URL and with this URL you want to include the citation and a couple of sentences describing why students are reading this article. Give them purpose. Gingrich Library Online also provides a citation tool for articles. This is just a tool so it's important that you pay special attention and make sure that everything is correct. They provide multiple citation formats so you would just find the format that you need typically is going to be APA unless you're in an English course and it's MLA and you can copy this but as I said notice the title is all caps so you would need to change that so there you have it all of the advanced search capabilities in Gangwish Library Online and how to get the permalink to those articles